say we're going to dye this wig. Okay, do we remember the Megan Fox wig? This is one of two Megan Fox wigs. It's actually clean, but she's just a little... She needs some love. I have tried a couple of different pinks. You know, vivid hair color is really hard to keep in. I mean, this is a human hair wig, lace front wig, but pink just washes out very, very easily. Even the roots were much darker than this. I think I did like originally in a level five or maybe even a level three root. And it's like such a fine line for me with pinks. Like I actually used to have pink hair back in the day when I had my old YouTube channel. I always rocked the pink and the blonde hair. If you're an OG, you know. So when it comes to pink hair, I'm pretty particular and I'm always on the hunt for a new pink. Being a cosmetologist, I can tell the difference between a purple toned pink and an orange toned pink. Now, the reason I prefer the orange toned pink is it's a little bit more pastel to me. When it starts to become more of a purple pink, it turns a little bit darker. And I know some people out there might be like, well, I like the darker because it lasts longer. You're right, but I don't like the darker. That's just a personal opinion. It's a personal choice. I have partnered with INH Hair before. You guys know I love, love, love their ponytails. They have sent me a few ponytails, but trust me, my collection, it's all on me. I've done, I've purchased so many of their ponytails. Let me go get them. These are all of my INH ponies. I purchased all of these ponies with my own money. And this was the one that they sent me for PR. But my point is, is I've just always love, love, loved this company. I actually own three or four of their wigs as well. They recently dropped a new hair color line. This is insert color here, semi-permanent conditioning hair color. So th however, they did send me these products. So I requested Flamingo Topaz, which is a pink and then a Violet Garnet, which is a purple so that we can kind of compare the two. Okay, they're semi-permanent hair color. They retail for $18 a piece on their website, but they're also available on Amazon, which I feel like that's a pretty fair price for semi-permanent hair color. Comes with a little instruction manual. And let's read the claims. This is full coverage, semi-permanent color, the perfect way to transform your look at home. Our super saturated formula deposits pigment into your hair while also conditioning, leaving your hair super soft. For maximum color payoff, start with pre-bleached platinum or medium blonde hair. For just a hint of color, the dye can also be used on dark hair and dark blonde, dark blonde and light brown. Okay. Our formula is paraben free, sulfate free, zero harsh chemicals, no bleach, no peroxide. Depending on your hair color um, and the condition of your hair is the results will vary, which is obvious. So let's open up the other one. Oh, wow. Okay. These are very, very vivid. This is definitely an orange toned pink, so that makes me happy. And this is very dark purple. Pink, I still might dilute this because it does feel, once again, I really prefer a more pastel pink shade. Oh, I don't know if she's gonna be very easy to open. So to dilute this, I would mix in a little bit more plain white conditioner. It doesn't matter what kind that you get. All right, the purple is pretty dark. So we will try the purple in another video. I just realized I don't think I have gloves, so this is going to be fun. Okay, what I'm doing, so this this wig has been washed. She's dry, so she's definitely fading. You can tell like at the root, she's getting a little bit blonde. I'm not going to pre-bleach her because that's just silly. That will just cause more damage to the wig. So everybody has their own way of applying hair color. For me, with Vivids, I think you get a more even result when the hair is damp. Now I'm not going to say it needs to be soaking dripping wet because it still needs some space for those molecules to absorb inside of the hair shaft, right? Now in cosmetology school, they teach you to put hair color on dry hair, but you know, you start to learn the tricks of the trade when you're kind of working on clients and doing your own thing. So I'm going to dampen her. And then we're gonna go ahead and start putting on this color. So I'll be right back. All right, we have her thrown under literally the tub. And uh, I towel dried it. So, and I have my little mannequin head here. I have four quadrants 
I did four sections. Now I'm doing it on a wig, so wigs are a little bit more complicated than a real head. A real head of hair, you're just gonna have a lot more hair than this. Wigs just are not the same. So we're just gonna do the best we can. My sections are not perfect because the wig, I am going to, <clears throat> I don't know how much to take. Probably about that much to start out with and put it in the bowl. And I just have, this is like an argon oil conditioner. It's not one of my most expensive conditioners. And I'm just gonna start adding some pumps in here. And I'm gonna start mixing it till I get the color that I'm happy with. The more white conditioner that you put in, the lighter the pigment is going to be. It's going to sort of emulsify and break down the pigments so that they're not as opaque. You can definitely tell, I, mean, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but it's definitely turning it lighter. I'm gonna start with the section in the back. I'm just gonna start slapping on that color. Okay, she is done. We need to let her sit for like an hour. But let me just say that in all the years I've been a licensed stylist, I have never, ever in my life had hair color stain like that. And let me tell you what, I move fast, okay? Um, this will come off in a few days, I hope. Um, it's giving ex-girlfriend from like, you know, Gwen Stefani days. Um, if that can stain your hands that well, I'm assuming this is gonna be really good, so. A win is a win in my book. Okay, it is the next day and uh, I let it the wig air dry overnight. Um, personally with human hair wigs, just don't put more heat on them than necessary, you know? So I just let it air dry in front of the fan. It is a little bit more magenta than I personally like using my blonde hair sticking out. Um, their color line is very vibrant. like. Not all color lines are this vibrant. I'm gonna turn around and show you the back. Whatever color line they have and they use, it, it is beautiful. It's very pigmented. It's well done. I did look on their website and they do have more of a baby pink that I would be interested in trying. The good thing with Vivid Hair Color though is like, if I just wash this with shampoo and some hot water, it'll tone it down. Also, I feel like the curls are a little tight for my liking. But once again, if I just brush it out a little bit more, it's it's a very fresh, you know, hair color and cut. Shout out to INH Hair. Love the line. Can't wait to see the colors expanded even more. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you had pink hair, what is your favorite color of pink? Because there is a plethora.